Hello, welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. Well, it's Friday again already, and I just want to take a minute, as I do each Friday, and remind you to get out to church somewhere. And, of course, if you live in the Athens area, and if you don't have a church home already, we'd love to have you here at New Life. We meet at 1035 on Sunday morning. Some of you probably have uh, looked in your Bible and saw this book called the Book of Job. And if you know anything about it, you know it's a, it's a book that talks about all the bad things that happened to a guy who had been a faithful follower of God. And, and one day he lost all of his business, his, his family and so forth. It was so bad that his wife, who was the only one that escaped all the turmoil, said, Job, just curse God and give up. Well, if you go to the end of that book, you know that the Bible says that God restored to Job all the stuff he lost. And he actually had more at the end than he had at the beginning. And the moral of this story is, is the message I want to give you today is that we serve a God who is the God of restoration. I was uh, listening to a, a guy, he's kind of like one of my mentors. He's, he's a little bit older than me. He's been a missionary in India. And he tells a story about when he was a, a little boy growing up, his dad, who had become a pastor, told him the story of his grandparents. And his grandmother, uh, his grandfather, was 11 years old when his mom died. And she said, you're going to lead your six, your five brothers and sisters to the Lord, and you're going to be a preacher one day. We we'll make a long story short, this family that he had grown up in was one of the worst you would ever think to imagine. And as you fast forward it down through history, today 22 pastors and 11 missionaries have come out of that family, all because that one 11-year-old boy, God used him to touch a whole family. You say, what's the point? Well, here was a family that was as bad as it could get, and God restored them through the prayers of that dear little old lady and through her son, and today they're touching the world for Christ. Well, listen, if you've been through tough times, I want to encourage you today not to give up because God is a God of restoration, and I'll pray for you today that God will touch you with his hope, his love, and his mercy. Till we get together on Monday, may God bless you, and have a great day.